welcome to Artistic Adventures. Today I'm bringing you part two of our Chinese doll project. This is the face up. So let's get started. I've already prepped her face, uh, cleaned it with acetone and applied a matte medium with my airbrush. And as usual, I'm going to just start with a light brown pencil to map out the features and make sure I have everything where I want them before I I start using the darker colors and then we'll start adding in more color and as usual I will be doing probably two more coats of the matte medium in between this and finishing the doll because I'll, I'll need to um, add some more layers and that's a good way to save what what you've done and then also to um, allow you to deepen the colors that you've already put on. So I'm making her eyes brown and I'm using a darker brown on top and a light golden color on the bottom to give the eyes the correct shade shading look that they have as you're looking at them usually. And I'm not going to give her like exaggerated Asian features. I am making her eyes a little more narrow and upturned on the side but I don't really want her to have sort of, you know, that exaggerated look. I want her to look reminiscent of that look, if that makes sense. Because her costume will be sort of reminiscent of that costume instead of a truly authentic um, Chinese dress. Uh, you'll notice I put some paper towel around her chin and neck. I just can't use gloves. My hands sweat really bad when I use them. So to protect the doll's face, uh, since that's where I hold it, I'm just putting I just put a little paper towel and tape around there, and that should help keep her face clean. I do always try to keep my hands really clean while I'm doing this though, but um, I just can't wear gloves. And this is from a an ex nurse <laughs> who had to wear latex gloves a lot and made her hands sweat. So I'm putting on some eyebrows there with some pastel, doing some shading with the pastels. And um, then I'll go back in on the eyebrows later with some pencil and just deepen in the colors and the eyes, putting in the pupil. And then also adding some white to the sclera of the eye. So just continue to work on this face. Uh, and I did want to ask... Did any of you guys watch that puppet show that I linked to in my previous video um, that was about the Chinese dolls and the history of the Chinese dolls and the opera dolls? That is so funny if you watch it. It's really kind of amazing the talents of how they uh, use their hand, the dolls' hands to do things. Like at one point they handed a, a goblet back and forth. I'm like, I don't even know how they did that. And their hats would come off and spin and stuff. It was really kind of an uh, interesting thing to watch. So if you didn't get a chance to watch it, the link was in the description to my last video, the beginning of the Chinese doll. So give that a look if you're interested in it. I'm sort of interested in all these historic tidbits as that I uncover when I'm doing these dolls. Um, I, I uncovered a lot of stuff with the Japanese doll and um, and covering a lot with this doll too. So I'll continue to share little tidbits as I come across them. I I do think that these costumes for the Chinese doll are so intriguing. It seems like with the Japanese, it's sort of a kimono in different variations, but always a kimono. It can be very elaborate, but um, the Chinese tend seem to have more variety of different types of costumes than uh, than the Japanese did. I may be completely off base with that. I'm just basing that on my observations um, and I'm sure there's some historians out there that will set me straight but <laughs> uh, that's sort of what I found and uh, I think that both of them have a lot of you know rich history behind the traditions of the dress and why they, they are that way and why they developed in a certain manner uh, so here I'm putting on some eyelashes just doing few little tiny strokes with a very pointed black pencil and then a couple dots of white acrylic paint to give her the sparkle in the eye 
and doing a little bit more work on the lips, putting in some white marks to make them a little bit more realistic. And um, once we finish this, then we're going to put the final coating of varnish on. Now I'm doing something different this time. I'm going to use this Liquitex matte varnish. I use the high gloss varnish for the eyes and lips. Um, so, and you know that I always use the matte medium in the uh, as the beginning coat. Now I'm going to use this gloss varnish to put on her eyes. I've already taken her and sprayed. Uh, the matte varnish on. I use an airbrush. I've tried using that with a brush and it actually is too shiny. So anyway, there's our finished look with the face up. And in the next video, we'll be continuing this project with the wig and then on to the costume. So I hope you like this, this start to the Johnny Doll project. If you do, give me a thumbs up. And as always, subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Thanks and bye.